Okay, hello, I am Soyeon Jin from the Big Deal Lab at Yonsei University, and I'm a second year PhD student in this session. I will talk about paper name Exit. So Exit talk about extrapolation and interpolation based neural contoured differential equations. So the access motivation comes from neural set A. E. So when we start training neural set A, e, we need pre-processing to create a continuous path. Neural city e produces a continuous path and uses this continuous path for training. The limitation of neural set A e is that the time length of continuous path is fixed. However, in our paper exit, can interpolate and extrapolate for downstream tasks. So the time lengths of continuous paths is not fixed. Before we talk about exit, I will explain about neural ODE briefly for who is unfamiliar with this concept. So uh, let's start with a brief explanation of neural ODE. So which came from before neural ODE. In order to obtain a value at time last t with a given value at time t0, it is obtained through integration like the, new, the existing neural network. So we call the OD function f this, the governing equations. And to solve this function f, it is calculated through solvers such as Dupri or Euler or lunge kutta or whatever solvers. So a characteristic of neural ODE is that it relies on initial values and creates a hidden state with only current information. From the figure here, we can see that the final hidden state Z was T depends only on the initial value of the hidden state Z0. So the Existence, existence of path X is the main difference between neural ZDE and neural ODE. Uh, as I told them before, so neural ODE's next, some advanced version is neural ZDE. Yes, and neural ZDE generates, generates this continuous path X in the, uh, by an interpolation algorithm. And this generates it as a natural cubic spline when determining xt. As a result, neural ODE considers it a more general approach than neural ODE. And comparing these two equations again, we can see that the only difference is the time derivative of x, which is uh, the circuit. Applying the Riemann integral to the above neural ODE changes the conventional Riemann integral to the Riemann still chest integral by multiplying the function f of the neural set A with the time derivative of x. As I mentioned earlier, neural ODE solves the initial problem. One of the limitations of neural ODE is that it relies on initial values. So the formula for neural CDE e solving the limitations of neural OD can be written as this. Let me explain what the time derivative of X means. So, well, how is path X con constructed? An interpolation procedure is used to build a path X from a random data X. And interpolation methods include natural cubic spline and linear interpolation. We know that X is a continuous value generated through the interpolation method. So what does the time derivative of X means? When using the time derivative of X, the solution continues to depend on the evolution of X. And we can call ZT1 driven by control X. So finally, I'll talk about exit. Exit have encoder and decoder architecture. An encoder generates hidden representation of the entire data. An encoder is the original neural model. 
decoder is NeurOD model because NeurOD create hidden representation not limited to time lengths. Due to this kind of NeurODE characteristics, we use NeurODE as a decoder. This decoder learns the learnable time parameter tau and create new returned path y and decoder enables extrapolate or interpolation. So as shown in this figure, this is the overall workflow of our model. First, given a discrete time series sample, we use interpolation algorithm. And in this paper, we use the natural cubic spline algorithm to create a continuous path. And see the a based encoder with the interpolation path X and create the hidden vector and this hidden vector representing the entire pass X. From the concatenated hidden vector, NeurODE based decoder, this purple box, the hidden vector, the decoder reads the hidden vector and this decoder creates the new latent pass Y. And when decoder creates new latent pass Y, decoder decide interpolated latent pass or extrapolated latent pass. So in this figure shows decoder creates interpolated latent pass. So the true pass Y's length is the T0 to last T, but pass Y's, a new pass Y's created is time tau start to tau end. So we can see this latent pass y is interpolated. And in this figure, decoder creates extrapolated latent pass y. So this is a more longer than the true pass y. And the newer CDA, the green box in this figure, reads the latent pass y and produces the latent hidden vector z. There is an output layer to process the last hidden vector and make inference. So in this slide, I will explain access encoder decoder architecture with equations. So access can be written as follows. First, the, this ET is the encoder refers to ET. This is the neural city equations. And this latent pass Y, uh, Y tau start created from encoder ET and equation YT is the neural OD equation. To create YT, we only use Riemann integral, not Riemann Stilchus integral. So this is Riemann integral and this is Riemann Stilchus integral. So we can create extrapolated or interpolated new latent pass Y because neural OD doesn't care some fixed time length of continuous pass. Finally, we create new latent pass Y. We use neural CD for downstream task. So finalized equation is this. So this is the final hidden state, Z tau end. And uh, we define the time derivative of y as function f, this yellow box. To sum up, encoder create the hidden representation of the entire data and decoder create new latent pass y and a new latent pass y can create their two ways interpolation or extrapolation. This is our experiment. We conduct classification and forecasting experiments with five real world data sets. We use Fijona subsets for our experiments to protect patients' privacy. Subsets data set is 90% as missing data sets. So we can call subsets data is irregular time series classification. It also shows the good performance in binary classification, which determines whether a patient has subsist or, sub or not through subsist data. In particular, since the subsist data was highly imbalanced, so AUROC was used as the metric. 
Unlike the irregular subsource data set, space commands is regular data set. Space commands data set is one second long audio data recorded with spoken words like left, right, cat, dog, or something else. In this subsource, uh, in the speech commands classification, exit also shows the best accuracy. And finally, in classification task, we use character trajectories. This character trajectory contains information about X and Y axes, positions, and the pen T force at the Latin alphabets written on the tablet. And we test on two settings for one for regular data set and one for irregular. We dropped let we randomly select and drop 30, 50, 70 percent of data set to create irregular experiment settings. And also in this data set, we show the best performance in our baselines, except the 30 percent drop. The, this two figure shows the learning curve on Fijiona subsets and the speech commands. Our model is the blue one, and the entire training period exit shows the small lows. And in time series forecasting, we use a Muzoko data set. This data set is physics engine, which used for research and development in domains like robotics and machine learning that demand precise simulations. And also, we randomly dropped 30, 50, 70% and also test on regular data set. And finally, we test for casting task on Google Stock data set. To create a more challenging environment, we use Google Stock data from 2011 to 2021, which includes some COVID situations. So we think uh, including 2021 is more fluctuate in data set. And also we randomly dropped 30, 50, 70 and test on regular. And error the settings, we show the, the smallest error in across every settings. The result of Google Stock and Muzoko in table, this table and this table, we see 50 seconds and predict 10 seconds. For ablation study, this is the mean scaled error graph on output time lengths. So when we forecast only first time sequence, our mean scaled error is the most smallest error. And the more time sequence are predicted, the larger mean scaled error shows. And this, this graph also shows the shows that when you predict a short sequence, there is a small mean scaled error, and we, and when we predict a long sequence, then mean scaled error is bigger. And this, and however, our model, the blue one, exit, shows the entire, shows the best mean scaled error for entire length of output. To sum up this paper, a core part of neurocity is how to interpolate discrete time series samples and generate continuous paths. And in this paper, we presented how to interpolate and extrapolate a latent path with our proposed encoder decoder architecture and experiments based on five real world data set and 12 baselines, various experiment settings were conducted, ranging from irregular, irregular classification to forecasting. And exit performs the best scores in most cases. And thank you for listening my presentation. If you have a question, feel free to ask me. Thank you. Yeah, so thank you for your presentation, Soyeon, Soyeon. And then here, there is one question in chat window. Yeah, please answer this question. Uh, okay. Um, the encoder creates a hidden vector and we concatenate the fixed time, so the t0 to last t, 
if there are 10 time points in the whole entire time series data, then we create some T0, uh, T0 to last T dot 10 points. We concatenated for using a Tochi scatter function. Yes. And create a hidden representation to all time series. Uh, is it is it the answer to you, oh, one song? Hi, can you hear me? Oh yes, I can hear you. Uh, my question is that uh, in that uh, aggregation module, can we use other aggregation operation operation like attention module or something like that? I mean, in concatenation, oh. I think the it cannot. Uh, consider the different importances of the different time steps, right? Oh, yes. Um, uh, when we create our model, we also, tr also try to some add some attention mechanism, oh, sorry, attention mechanism, but it has a good performance, but not that good and also have some more computation. So we think that's very risky to create a model, including attention. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right, and then are there any questions from the audience? Well, and then actually I said, I, said, I just have one actually simple question. So, it is the first time to meet this kind of the approach. And then, so actually I'm an NLP researcher. So can you also use the exit to solve the uh, NLP, uh, I mean, text classification or the natural language generation, something like that, which is similar to the you know, time series classification and then forecasting. So can we also apply and use the uh, exit to solve the, uh, the kind of tasks? What's your opinion? Uh I think maybe change some few things. I can, it's, oh, I think it's work, but I'm not, I'm not in a natural language process. So I think that has a good performance. I don't sure, but yes, I think it might be a good research to, to do this exit model or other some encoder decoder based near differential equation based model to natural language process. Yes, right. I think it works. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> and then there's one question from the chat window. So please answer this question. Oh, okay. I read, I read the question and Mm, I didn't comparing with gain model, but uh, wait, but the, I think this is quite different from gain, but GRUD model is some kind of imputation model. Yes, and okay, for this question, uh, I compare with the GRUD, the imputation model, but I didn't compare with gain. 